Welcome, Die Burn. How you doing? Start starting up a fresh uh, profile for ATS. Can't get through all the quick jobs. So this time, I don't think we're gonna try convoy because I got it. I got to own own a truck first. I'm pretty sure. But we'll just get close. Boy, I haven't played this game with no mods. Since probably it first came out. <laughs> oh, this will be interesting. I have to get used to the uh, the base, you know, vanilla SES trucks because um, they're more modern and quieter and stuff. And I usually like the old loud ones. I I, <laughs> I just confer. I can't use any friggin' mods. If I want to be able to do convoy, because right now, see how it's blacked out? You cannot do it with any mods. The only mod that I installed. Oh, never mind. The only mod I installed is the minimal interface mod, which which uh, gets rid of that stupid square inter UI in the bottom right hand corner and then making a line at the top instead. But, um,. I can't do that if I want to be able to do a convoy, so I'm probably not going to be able to do convoys today because, like I said, I got to get through the quick jobs and you know get enough money for a truck first. But I will exit to the launch pad. <laughs> That's new. It's the profile select. It's launch pad, and um, I'm going to take that one mod off because if I'm not going to be able to use it anyway, I better get used to not having it. <laughs> I was going to use that mod for a while just while I'm going through the quick chops and then take it off but there's really no point in doing that it's kind of a convenience thing but if I take it off now then you know I'll get used to not having it so it's off no mods well let's find out if I have to make this freaking profile over again because once you use a mod once even if you take it back off is that going to be a problem I don't think so, but let's find out. This convoy stuff is brand new to me, honestly. Oh, you resubbed? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, nothing popped up for it yet. Uh, it should pop up eventually. Thank you anyway. Um, yep, the convoy's button is lit up again. <laughs> I do have... Um, three more potatoes contracts I have to do before uh, whenever this... Oh, there it is. Thank you very much, Sturgy, for the reset. Was that you? Yeah. Nice. Four months, three, three months streak. Very nice. But, um, I have a while before this event ends. Actually, not that long. Uh, the 15th of August, so what, a couple weeks yet. Uh, I can't do that with quick jobs, though, so. Yeah. No one else to sub to. Well, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for Amazon's money. That's what a lot of people say. Because that's basically what it is. Amazon Prime gives you that free sub a month. 
Okay. I got an email already. Now that's great that Peterbilt trucks are for sale, but I have a um, thousand dollars, almost two thousand dollars in my name, so it's going to be a little while. I know I, I can go to the bank and take out loans, but I like to try to minimize how much I take out in a loan. <laughs> and quick jobs can be fun too. So, I guess I'm ready to start. Oh, actually, before I start, let me just go through some options. I did copy over the config file and, what is it, it's config and controls, so that the basic controls, I don't have to set those up over again. But there's always some options that you have to go through each time. Fine. Fatigue is on. That's okay for now. I might turn it off eventually, but I'll leave it on for now. Automatic parking dialogue. Take that off. It's a pain in the ass. Heavy cargo warning screen. That's a pain in the ass, too. Show navigation. Always. What's the difference between best and shortest? I guess I'll keep it on best. Parking difficulty. Nope. Put it on random. Sometimes it's going to be really hard. Sometimes it's going to be really easy. Random road events. Turn that dot down a bit. And detours. Turn that down a bit, too. I'm not going to turn them off, but I don't want them too often. Especially with detours. They could be real pain. Rain probability. We're in the West Coast, so yeah, pretty low. Time zone, no, time zone is fine, full info. So cutscene is fine. Uh, sequential, yeah. Breaking intensity, yeah, I think that's about right. Wait a minute, truck stability, trailer stability, why is this cranked all the way up? No. Should be like in the middle. Ish. I don't know, I never really know where to put those dials, but it shouldn't be cranked all the way up. Sure. Speed limiter off. Automatic engine brake off. Automatic engine and electric, no. Parking brake engaged, no. Automatic drift, no. Air brake simulation, yes. Realistic fuel consumption. Sorry, this is just stuff you have to set up. Truck speed limiter would, would probably always limit you to like 65 miles an hour. If you're doing external contract, it would do that. But um, if it's not an external contract, I don't want the limiter on. Uh, cruise control. Oops. Cruise control I want on one. Smart cruise control, I do not use. I don't even know what smart cruise control is. I don't use it. Uh, steering camera. Oh. That you want pretty high. Which English, United States, region presets, yes, USA. Open chat with activate. That would be enter. Sure. Show chat on the note. This, this stuff I've never played with before, so... I don't know yet. Quick replies. Oh? What is this? Is this going to be like um, American Long Haul and all those games where it's 18 wheels of steel where you can just hit a button with a, with a generic reply? Hi there, scissors. Level 1. Actions, yes. That's no okay. Oh, the numbers, I see. Well, I'm not going to play around with that yet. Interesting. 
Yeah, we're probably not going to get around to doing a convoy today. Well, unless I take out a big enough loan to buy a truck way before I should, but we'll see. For now, I'm just going to drive. <laughs> yes. It just says it in chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be too good if it did the voice things. I started in Flagstaff, by the way. That's where my first garage is going to be. Flagstaff to Grand Canyon. Price per distance. Sure. Yeah, that's okay. You're gonna have to figure out a type in the chat, though. I don't think it'd be that hard. That would be a real big pain for me, though, because my keyboard's up there on top of the the, the uh, on top of the wheel. It's kind of a big pain in the ass to get to. And yes, the um, the wheel cam looks better because. It's new cam first. So, well, last time I streamed ATS, I set up the new camera. But it's even better because I put a lamp over uh, on this side, on the left side of my wheel. I put a little lamp to light up the wheel better. <laughs> so now I got three lights. I got the lamp sitting on my desk to light up the wheel. I got the big boom light over my head that the microphone hangs off of. And then back behind me, I got the ceiling light on too, which I have a feeling I could probably turn... Actually, let me see... Give me a second. I'm going to try turning that off real quick. Now that I have this lamp here, I probably don't need that big one on the ceiling, at least. No, I don't have anywhere to put my headphones. Now nah, there, Lucy. Now nah, you don't. I'm trying to set things up. Is the lighting still good? So I turned off that ceiling light back behind the uh, my backdrop there. As long as you can still see, yeah, I think it's still good. Take your mind off things, yeah. I hear you, Lucy. Oh, well, maybe we can make you feel a little better. Lighting looks good? Alright, cool, cool. So now I don't have to have that stupid ceiling light on behind. Maybe that'll make the, the birds a little quieter if that ceiling light's on. There's still a lot of light in the room, but at least the big ceiling light that's right in front of them isn't on. Oh. <laughs> well... Just for the poll, think Mac. My favorite is probably the, um, the Peterbilt 35. Not. What is it? 389. It's the. The Peter Ritland game. Oh, that stupid F3 thing. Very tempted to turn that off completely. Okay, let's start the engine. Oh, never mind. This truck does not have an in-game uh, GPS on the dashboard. Company's being cheap. Didn't want to spring for it. Okay, so we'll do that. What are we hauling? A tank? What am I driving now? Freightliner Cascadia, I think. Let's inspect things. Yeah, some kind of tank. And this is, I think, I think the only, the only stock Freightliner is a Cascadia. Yeah, so that's what it is. It's the J cab, which is the, the, um, the fairing up at the top is a little silly, but. It makes sense for a box trailer, but for this trailer, it's a little silly. But anyway, uh, let's get going. 
Oh, thank you for letting me. back in the driving it's been what a week or so that's just long enough to uh, make you forget how to drive you know the interior of this is a little weird like around the windshield it's like all fuzzy right that's kind of weird Not too crazy about this view. I just never see any reason in looking at the ceiling. There's nothing up there. <laughs> Rather see more buttons and stuff. Ten eighty P. Um I usually what is it now? Seven twenty? I usually kind of stick with that, because the thing with 1080, if, if somebody has not the best internet, then it's going to be a lot harder to stream, and I'm not nearly popular enough yet to give people different encoding options, so if I go with 1080, that's going to be the only option, I think. So that's kind of why I stick with 720. And it's a little less taxing on the computer, although I'm I'm sure my computer could probably handle 1080 if I wanted to jump up to 1080. Oh, that was my mother. Oh, that's right. She was going to shop, right? She's probably back with some groceries. On my way. Like, get so anxious over whether or not I'm going to be able to come down and get the groceries from the car. I'm like, tell me when you're here. <laughs> I don't want to have to go down and wait for her because, you know, I'm streaming. Okay, one thing that I'm not too crazy about with this truck, and this is modern trucks in general, the hood slants straight down, so there's no... I don't really have anything to line up with the line on the side to figure out if I'm in lane. I'm in lane right now, so I gotta find something to match up with the lines. Uh, what about the right side of the wheel against the white line? Is that too far over? No. Okay. So the right side of the steering wheel, I'm kind of matching up with the white line on the edge, shoulder line. That seems to... yeah, that puts me in lane. Okay, 12, 12 gears is all we got. Oh, we're doing 74, 75 miles an hour. I gotta get used to using the, the stock putt again down in the right corner. I really don't like <laughs> I miss my bar across the top. You know, that's kind of silly that you can't even do that and do a convoy. The, the mods that are strictly client size side, like the UI stuff, you should be able to do that, convoy. Let's see. We're slowing down all over the hill, but not as much as they are. This truck's not bad. Well, I don't know if we're hauling... I think this tank that we're hauling probably isn't all that heavy, but still. Made it up that hill pretty good. Why did I look offset? Oh, read the chat. Sorry if anybody was there. I don't think anybody was. Just going fast too. I'm doing like 70 now. That's it. Okay. You guys hear the engine 
Oh, it's, it's pretty quiet in this truck, although I can hear it. message right now. Offset on the hard chart. Oh, maybe um, just the way the camera was set up, I guess. That was a long time ago. That was before I had the room set up here. That was set. And the room on the other side... Um, hmm. I'm trying to remember how I set up the camera back then. I was also kind of guessing at it too. A bit to the right, yeah, I think I know what you mean. I don't remember why I did that. There was a reason for that offset. I think if it was straight on, there maybe there was too much junk in the background. Because that was before the days of me having a backdrop behind me. Actually, I think back then I might have even had the uh, train set up on the table. Well, why did we... Jesus, I just tapped the, the brakes on this new truck and straight down to a stop. Okay, I think that's bomb. Very realistic pause in the middle of the road. I have to run downstairs quick and bring in the groceries so I will be right back enjoy the music <laughs> uh.
Back, but I have a turkey leg to eat. So, not turkey. I wish it was a turkey leg. Just a little chicken leg. So, you did for a little bit.
All right, sorry about that. I'm back. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I had laundry to bring in too, and then I had a chance to eat a drumstick, so I went for it. Freaking bird! I <laughs> just turned. You know, before I left to run downstairs, that bird was quiet. It was dead quiet. Turned off the ceiling light back there. Now, it's loud. Can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Maybe it smelled my food and hop popped up. Yellow. So how's everybody doing? Windows on top of this. So besides the bird being very loud, audios, yeah, I think sisters told me audio volumes are good, so that's good. Like this song is probably too quiet, but whatever. Can't have everything. Actually, as far as audio levels are concerned, my, um, not the neighbor that I normally talk about, different one. Well, the guy that lives on the other side of this house, I should say. Um, he's a musician. He plays drum and keyboards, and um, so he's got different musical instruments and, so, and, and equipment, I should say. And sometimes he throws something out, like the uh, the tripod that I have the wheel cam mounted to. That he threw out one day, and I saved it. It was kind of beat up, and the 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 one like boom arm, I guess you would call it. I think it was supposed to be for a microphone originally. Um, was like bent and had duct tape on it, but then there was another boom arm that he also threw out with a different tripod that was messed up a different way, I guess. And so I just took the arm off of that one and put it on this one, basically. But I guess he bought new ones, so he didn't really care. So, um, and then yesterday he threw something else out that really interested me, but I have no idea how to use it. It looks very complicated. But, um, it's a sound mixer board. And it's got, like, all these different inputs and outputs and... Oh, man. If I could figure out how to use that thing, though, maybe I could have a sep... It's like a 16-channel sound board or something like that. And, um... Like, if I could have the music on a separate channel and then have a little dial next to me to just turn it up and down whenever it's, it needs to. That could be cool. But I have no idea how to use this thing. I think I would probably need a sound card at the computer, too. I don't know, though. I think the whole point of that, though, would be that you didn't need a sound card. But the thing is, he threw out the actual thing, but he didn't throw out the power supply that goes with it. And it's got a special fancy plug for the power supply at the back, so the power supply, my, my luck would probably be like 50 bucks a and then I don't know why he threw this thing out. Was it just old and dingy looking and a, and a couple of the little slider knobs are broken off? Did he just throw it out because of that or did he throw it out because it stopped working? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask him, really. If it works, though, I could either ask him for the power supply. It depends on if the power supply would fit other things. Like if... He might have kept the power supply because he could use it for some other equipment. But it, it looks like a pretty... The way the plug is, anyway, it looks like it'd be a pretty unique power supply. So 
so I could ask him for that. Or if I had to buy a power supply, my luck, the power supply would be like 40 plus dollars because it's something special. So I don't know if I'd want to spend that kind of money on something that I don't even really know how to use at the end of the day. I'll have to show it to you. It's this big thing. Also, I don't even know where I would put it. I would have to, like... My monitor on the left. The monitor on the left is on this big box that my boots came in. Like a shoe box, but a lot bigger, basically. Is this where my delivery is? Yes. Oh, it's already in second. <laughs> But anyway, I could replace that with like maybe some a little shelf made out of plywood and 2 by 4s if I have some scrap wood laying around. And then I could do it basically in a way where the, the soundboard thing would slide under that. I don't know, it's an idea. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Ah, the backup beeper is still on. I gotta turn that off. I don't know if it's the sun or what, but it's hard to see those the line for where I'm parking here. Shut up. Jesus. I gotta turn off that backup beeper. That's gonna drive me absolutely nuts. Oh, Grand Canyon. I should have driven around and looked at Grand Canyon first. I've had plenty of time. Yep, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off right now. Um... I usually like to go for the placards first. Basically, I like to try to unlock as many different kinds of trailers as fast as possible, so. Even before one pip and long distance, I'm gonna go after a placard. Probably next one, maybe. Either high value, or I'll get one in long distance, maybe. Especially since I'm not running mods. Yeah, yeah, I need money. I'm not gonna borrow that much money. <laughs> Uh, options... The audio? I gotta turn on the voice snap anyway. I did notice nobody was telling me where to go. Oh, I don't have all my fancy voice snap stuff. Uh, we're gonna have to go with, uh, old Granny Sky. Ready to roll? Yeah, we'll have her. Oh, voiceover noises. Roger beep. Override incoming Roger beep. Oh, all different sounds I could pick for the Roger beep. <laughs> I think we'll go for three for now. I don't want to go through all those. Backup beeper off. Nope, you didn't miss much. I I, I ate a chicken leg. <laughs> oh, let me show you the thing real quick. That my guy on the other side of the house threw out.
When I say this thing is big, I freaking mean it. Look at the wheel. Now I'll put it on the big cam. I don't know how well you can see this. Yeah, it's an audio mixer. The guy on the other side of my house. Look at all these levers and buttons and doodads. Like, there's a few of the little slider thingies. They're still there, but the, the, the plastic piece to move it around. But you can still move it around just fine with your thumb anyway. It's dirty. It's old and dirty, but if the thing still works, you know, it's got mic stuff here, everything, all, all of the jacks are the bigger jacks, and then, um, and then for stereo mix and stuff like that, everything's left and right, it's not like combined. Oh, it does say mono, though, so maybe I wouldn't have to have a splitter to split everything into left and right. I don't know. There's a thing for headphones. The possibilities are endless, I suppose. If it works. The guy did throw it out. I found this... I found this on the ground next to the garbage can outside. So either... I'm hoping that he just bought some newer kind of mixer and decided he doesn't need this anymore. Because, you know, some of the little thingies are broken off, and it's old and dirty. I think it sat in his, in his apartment and didn't use it for a long time. But if it still freaking works, this could be useful. But there's no power supply as far as I could tell. I gotta look in the garbage can. Maybe he did throw out the garbage, the power supply too, and he threw it in the garbage can instead of on the ground outside. Oh, um, let's see if I can show this to you. Behringer MX something. 1604A. That's what this thing is. Let's see, the, um, the plugs for the power supply is some kind of wacky plug that I've never seen before. I have no idea how mixers work at all, scissors. <laughs> so... I just wish it was a normal power supply thing. But it's not. Oh, AC power in. Yeah, it's round. It's round with three pins. Behringer su power supply only. In output. This connection for Behringer power supply and only. Is there another connection for a regular power supply? But I see. I don't know. That's the thing. The first thing I would need is a power supply before I could even start playing with this thing. Yeah, there's no other plugs for a power supply. That's main output. That's Oh, that switch doesn't... A button? Oh, it's a button. Wiggles around a little bit, but it still clicks. Yeah, I have I have no idea how to do anything with this thing. But, I'm certainly not ready to throw it out like this. Because if there's a possibility that it works, I could just use it for streaming. Like, imagine just being able to have one of these little dials, and when the music's too loud, I just turn it down a little bit. When it's too low, I can turn it up a little bit. That would be cool. Or mute the microphone, that kind of thing. One, two, three, four different microphone inputs. I mean... 16 ultra-low noise design. 
16 channel mic slash line mixer. I don't know. For now, it's just a thing that's going to sit in my room and take up space. But we'll see. All right. All right. Let me get back to traffic. I just wanted to show them off. Junkyard finds, basically, guy on the other side of the house got rid of it. I mean, it's possible the thing doesn't work that that it doesn't work anymore, and that's why he threw it out. But it's also possible that maybe he like broke the power supply, so he threw the whole thing out, or he bought a new one, so he decided he didn't need this one anymore. I, I'm just basing my thoughts on what he's gotten rid of in the past, like this uh, tripod that I'm using for the camera. He's gotten rid of a few different tripods. One that he got rid of like a year or two ago, a couple years ago. Um, I saved it, and I gave it to my neighbor next door, <laughs> and he set up a, uh, a big tall sprinkler on this tripod so that he could move it around to different parts of the yard and move the sprinkler around. He loves it. <laughs> well, he hasn't had to do that for a couple of years. We haven't had a, a, a summer quite that dry again, but still. That was me. And the sprinkler I gave him was uh, my grandfather's old sprinkler. There was this old sprinkler. It was up on a tall, like, pipe. It was, like, maybe eight feet high. And, you know, it just so That kind of thing. Puts out a lot of water. I like that to work. Yes, okay, yeah. That's right, quick jobs. Alright, so... What do we got? I'm going price per mile. I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck here. 31 per mile. 23 per mile. Let's see, Flagstaff to Page. Okay, sure. I don't know what kind of truck this is. Western Star. Eh, let's see what it's like. <laughs> hey, we're going to see what all the different trucks look like. Although, I'm pretty sure I know what kind of truck I'm going to get. I want one with a hood in front of it, basically. Uh -oh. What did I hit? Uh -huh. Let's do this. Oh, that engine is so quiet. I need to intervene. I need to be able to hear the engine, either that or put the transmission in automatic, that's a possibility. I might do that with some of these modern trucks, because it's almost like the really modern ones are really designed to be automatics. Oh man, it's already cranked up. I do believe, yeah, that's what changes that. Oh, we'll put it on a big mileage, mile per hour thing. I thought, okay, that's cool. Uh, let me adjust the seats. So once again, I don't care about looking at the ceiling. You'll come down a bit. wacky trailers, okay. We're <laughs> leaving from the same place that we were leaving from last time. Whatever. Interesting. This is a western star. Turn left. Okay.
<laughs> Granny gets real upset if we start speeding. <laughs> Get ready to turn left. Alright. Turn left. Another. Another email telling me that I can either buy a truck or borrow some money. Jobs are available if you own a truck. Well, I don't own a truck yet. I think I got somebody off there, but they could have moved over, surely. Okay. Once again, we got to figure out how to get in lane here. Uh, I guess right side of the steering wheel aimed at the line again. Yeah. Oh, this truck has a GPS. Uh, Let's turn that off then. I can see the speedometer there in the middle. And what gear I'm in, so. Okay, 12, 12 gears. Yeah. Oh, we're doing 78 miles an hour, so that's pretty good. The only thing I'm missing is there's nothing flashing red when I go over the speed limit. Speed limit 75, yep. We're doing 78 to 75, so good. That's gonna change. I can actually see that though. <laughs> Go straight on. That's right. Yeah, straight on. <laughs> we moved the speedometer, yes. Morgan one? Oh, Morgan Freeman, yeah. I, I can't have any mods if I'm going to do the, the convoy stuff. That's the thing. Even I think even the sound mods would count as a mod. Which is silly. The sound mods are just client side, surely. So it shouldn't really matter. But maybe someday they'll iron that out. So yes, yeah, Sturgy, if you, if you want to... Um, play with us sometime, and it's not going to be today, I don't think I'm going to have an owned truck by the end of the stream today, but um, you're going to have to have a profile that's straight vanilla, no mods at all for convoy stuff. Now what I don't know is if you have a profile that you've been playing for a while, maybe you could test it out on your own, if you have a profile that you've been playing for a while with mods on it, I'll just put down six. Caution! Watch your speed! Yeah, yeah. But if you have a profile that you have been running mods on, and you take all the mods off, can you then do Convoy on that profile? I don't know. I'm guessing you probably could. 67. But I don't know. I haven't tried it. Oh, we're just going through Flagstaff now. Let's see, that's why I went down to 65. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. Just gonna Turn be able right. to fit in front of this railroad crossing. No improved trains because I can't have mods. It's so weird to not have mods. 
بس I'm doing 45, Granny. It's fine. I was doing a little higher than 45, and it just went up to 40. Okay, it was still 30 at the time. It's okay. 55 now. Can you guys hear Granny yelling at me? That's the highway now. Why are we doing 55? Okay. Now 65. And there's a little green light for when you have your cruise control set. That's pretty neat. I guess maybe I could get used to these modern newfangled trucks. If we go down to one lane, that means everybody slow down. Starting to speed back up. They were starting to speed back up. <laughs> but then there was a little hill. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. You hear the music barely. Traffic circle coming up now. How's my fuel? At the roundabout, take the second egg. Full tank. I'm down, Granny. It's fine. We exited. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Where in the goddamn hell are you driving? <laughs> you speed it. What is speed? Okay, now it's 65. I don't notice it as much because I always have my headphones on and stuff, but Caution. I think... Watch your speed. What, I went down to 55? Okay. But I think the birds quieted down a little bit, hopefully. Before I went downstairs, they were really quiet. Then when I came back, they were really freaking loud. We've actually been going through a lot with uh, the big bird that's downstairs, Smokey. It's a big African gray. And he's been having all sorts of troubles. He's like... He's like somewhere between 15 and 18 years old. Somewhere around there. I think probably about 16. But still, African grays usually live some anywhere between like 20 and 30 plus years. 
but um, he hasn't tried to talk in like a couple years ago now. A couple years now, I should say. And then um, he's had issues with falling, and it looked, and it seemed like he was like having seizures and stuff. Yep, I tried to music. And then we got a special light to shine on him, and then he stopped falling as much. It seemed to help a lot with like any kind of seizures and stuff. But now recently, I think it started when my mom was in Georgia, and he. I don't know if he fell and hit his heart, head really bad or if he had a seizure or something, but he was laying on the bottom of the cage and me and John both thought he was dead. Uh, and I went to move him to pick him up to put him in a box. Like I was going to bury him that night or maybe the next morning or something. And then he perked up. I was like, oh, you're alive. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then like I put his dishes down there, his food and water, and kept checking on him and stuff, and then he eventually kind of perked up, and after a couple days, after like a day, he climbed back up to his perch by the by the food, so I had to move the poles back up, but, it, but anyway, that was a couple months ago now, but recently he's been pretty bad again, like fall on a bit, and staying on the floor, and then sometimes he's like laying on the floor on his back. And that is a really weird thing for a bird to do. So, you know, <laughs> once again, we're like, is this freaking bird dead? And he wasn't. And, um, Mom's been holding him a lot because, she, you know, she's home. So she she holds him and tries her best to take care of him. But who knows what's wrong with this bird. And we don't know a vet that would take care of birds. And even if we did, we could never afford to take a, a bird to a vet. That's... That's, you know, exotic animals to the vet is, is very expensive. And it didn't seem like there would be much of anything anybody could do about it, because we think either... It's it's not strokes, because he keeps bouncing back. Like a stroke, if he had a stroke, he would be messed up forever. Probably. So it's probably seizures of some sort. But, um... And now... One of his nails broke off on his foot, and I think. Oh, calm down! I'm doing three over the speed limit. Get ready to turn left. Yeah, turn left. Turn left. So yeah, I think the nail breaking off helped him more than anything else. Like that was oh that was a that was a traffic light. At least it was green. I was looking at my speed. I wasn't looking up at the light. But you know, it's hard to tell. And some days he seems to be doing really bad. And other days he's back up at his perch like there's nothing wrong. He's never trying to like talk or anything, and he's not even really whistling anymore, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens with him. And we keep, like, trying to prepare for, you know, the bird's gonna die soon and stuff like that, but he keeps bouncing back, kind of. I just hope he's not, like, suffering at all. I don't think he really is, but... It's hard to tell with a bird. I kind of wish that he would just stay on the floor of the cage, but he doesn't. He's got that natural drive. Okay. I thought I missed my turn, but it's right here. Come on. He's got like that natural drive to want to keep climbing back up and standing in the same place where he always stands. And there's like a few things that would help him if he would do it. Like we have this. Okay. We have this hut hanging up kind of high that he could go into this little triangle hut and lay in there and stuff. But he's always been afraid of it. 
he's never gone in there ever. It's been there, for, hanging there for like a couple years now. He won't, t he won't go anywhere near it. And then there's this one perch that's like this big stone perch kind of thing that he could stand on and kind of grind his nails a bit on it and grind his beak on it. He's afraid of that too. Birds are very crazy like that. They're always afraid of anything new. room here. That's good. Ah, I did it wrong. Oh well. I'll just do this just to turn around, really. Actually, that was close. Close, but no scar. But yeah, the phrase bird brain exists for a reason. Although for birds, Smokey's supposed to be pretty smart. African greys. Seem like YouTube videos of African greys that learn all sorts of words and can do math and stuff like that. But <laughs> not this bird. This bird was never trained or anything. He spent a lot of his formative years in this room before anybody lived in this room, so he was just in this room with a bunch of other birds. So the only thing he learned how to do was squawk like the other birds. The time we moved him downstairs to um, be with other humans, it was kind of too late, I think. Okay, I think I'm going to get one pip distance and we'll go back to then next I think we'll get high value car cargo that's really good okay emails yeah yeah drivers with own equipment special transports I'm wondering if SCS gave me the special transport DLC I never bought it but I've never gotten that email about a special transports in before. I think it's probably just trying to remind me to buy the DLC without actually saying, hey, buy this DLC. It's the only DLC in ATS that I don't have is special transport. And I don't know, I'm not super interested in that one. That's the one where you have a trailer with like a big huge house on the back and an escort vehicle front and back. I've seen people do that like on streams and stuff. And they're always having issues with the escort vehicles going too slow or the back one getting lost and then you fail the job because the back escort vehicle went a different way. I was like, eh, I don't think that's really... I don't know if I want, really want to mess around with that. Okay, I guess we'll keep on uh, trucking. It's 5 p.m., but I can't sleep with... Well, until you own your own truck, you can't like go to the garage and sleep through the night or anything. Which is really annoying, because I don't like driving at night. How much money do we have now? Twelve? I think a new truck is probably about a little over a hundred thousand for a base truck, I would think. Let me just... You know what? Let's, let's glance real quick. Why do I know about this truck dealer in Yuba? I wasn't anywhere near you. Oh, because I started with a... Th my preferred truck is Peterbilt, so I guess they give you one Peterbilt dealer. I don't know, I can't buy anything right now, but... Like, if I wanted to get, like, a base stock truck... This one's 112, but... This is... I don't want this style truck. I want... I want a big... Yeah, 389. 118. 118, and that's a day cab. Uh, just wondering what kind of engine it's going to have. 370 horsepower and a 10 speed. Oh, so you want levels too. Because if you don't get levels before you buy a truck, 
you're starting off with a 10 speed transmission with only a 370 horsepower engine. I could deal with the 370 horsepower engine. Oh, there is a 405. Okay. That's a little better. But I would want to I would want more than 10 freaking gears with that small of an engine. So so anyway, of course, that stuff would keep costing more and more. Like, even just that upgrade brings you up to 120 So, I'm trying to think of how much I would want to make on my own before I take out a, a loan. Look at the loans. Probably a 50k loan. I don't think I'd want to take a hundred K. That's well, it's 1800 a day instead of 1200 interest rate, 20% interest rate. Oh, the interest rate is a little bit better at the hundred K probably. I would probably end up taking the hundred K loan then, which means if I take the hundred K loan, gonna want some levels anyway but money the money that I want to have probably close to 50,000 I would say so I want like 50,000 like level I don't know five six at least before I try to buy a truck all right no we're not gonna I'm going to do my best to not drive the same routes over and over again. Well, we could go from Page back down to Flagstaff. I guess that's awesome. Much 31 per mile. Hey, that's different. Page to Camp Verde. Hey, Peterbilt 389. Good, with 13 speeds. That's, that's better than what we have been driving. Yeah. I didn't even look at the oversized. I was looking at just the money. I'm just trying to get the most money I can. As quick as I can. Yeah, oversized can be fun. What do we do? We just have a regular trailer. It's just a single trailer. Very Peter Phil. Time to get the job done. Yeah. Uh, every freaking time. Wait a minute. Why am I in this camera angle? I must have fat fingered something uh, there. Why does the default camera always look uh, way up at the ceiling? What is so interesting up there? I don't get it. It's like everybody wants to be able to see the mirror without looking at the mirror, too. I I don't like that. I like having to look at it, I guess. Uh, the auxiliary side, I don't think that really makes any difference, but that's not the okay button. <laughs> Uh, do I have to adjust the mirrors? Usually I don't even bother adjusting the mirrors with these quick jobs. They they work good enough, you know. Yeah, they're fine. I can't even have my mod for the company logo, so Walbert is just Walbert. Uh. Oh yeah, Arvin. Turn left. Oh. Paying attention, you see. That was Chat's fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. 
It's never chat's full. Turn lit. International HX520. Oh. That truck I do not know off the top of my head, but sounds interesting. You know what? Let me look at 2022. Oh, a new truck. Um, that's why I don't recognize it. Where am I? Oh, that's where we're going. <laughs> oh, how much of a detour would that question mark be? That's not a dealer. Okay, if a question mark isn't a dealer, I'm not too worried about getting it. That does not look like a dealer. It's probably a viewpoint, actually. That's a new thing that I'm not used to yet. I have the dealer here. Okay. Yeah, because Flagstaff is my mate in town that I started. And, okay. I don't need to change my route. this truck better at least the older the better that's my philosophy in life Get ready to turn right. or there ain't much room for them to queue up is there of turning right, apparently. Maybe five. Huh? Well, get ready to turn left. Can't really see that too good. Turn left. Don't have a stop sign, right? Uh, I was here first. Although that's not a four way stop, so I'm not sure if who's there first really counts. I was making a left. Eh. Oh well. We are in, um, where are we? We're in Arizona. Northern Arizona. Um, leaving Page, Arizona to be exact. Going down to Camp Verde. This is, you know, stock SCS maps. No mods allowed for this profile that I'm doing. Love to add Mexico. Mm. me, I'm blind. I guess I don't have to worry about it. 65, do I? Oh, we got more than right. 13 speed.
like 68? Yeah. Put down one. The Hedgehog. Man, I grew up with this cartoon. And the other one, uh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog with the goofy Dr. Robotnik and the Pingus and all that. This cartoon, though, this was the best one. Which, of course, only lasted two seasons. Whereas the other goofy one lasted, like, I don't know, six plus. I've complained about this before. Stay straight. 55? I think that's at 55. Yeah. Now oh, it's back up to 65. I feel like I'm playing D-Rail Valley when the speed limit changes that it quick. Slowing down. At the roundabout, take right the second exit. Exit now. I think I just turned my headlights on, but I'm not going to make any difference until the sun actually goes down. See, I love having that hood ornament up there to point right at that white line on the right side. Oh, what's going on up here? Thirty-five. It's a friendly toot to the uh, road workers. Oh, 
I'm speeding that bad. See the traffic light, you see. Sure, my headlights are. They are. Turn right. I wanted to swing wide, but I couldn't because that other guy was coming by. I'm gonna turn the music volume up just a tad. Should have done that a while ago, but you know, slow. Eight. I should go up much more than that. Lucky number nine. Not that that's really lucky at all. It's just an odd number, but you know, whatever. Why'd they, why'd they block this lane? I can okay. understand those ones. Let's find a new route. Yep, let's find a new route. Let's see. I don't trust the GPS, so... Oh, we were gonna go down this way. Now, you know what? I'd rather take this road. This road's kind of a pain. Okay. Thank you, Detour. Time I won't, the only time I'll say that. Usually the detours are such a pain. Is it almost six o'clock? Yeah. That's okay. We probably got at least another hour or so of driving that I can do. Or I have to stop the stream. Maybe a bit more actually. Super hungry. I had that one little chicken leg. If I wait too long, I'm certain somebody will be home. Gonna have to wait. We had plenty of time to move over like I did.
the high beams. Deer crossing sign, nice. Didn't see you, sorry. <laughs> this is when it would be really nice to go to sleep. I think I was doing 65. Oh, maybe I was. <laughs> I'm sorry. But they were up. Listen, we were going around a curve. I didn't see you soon enough. I'm sorry. Sign, I thought the red lights come. That time the red lights coming. Stop sign or so it's, it's just everybody goes. <laughs> Run for yourself intersection. Right. Right. 
Okay, we gotta park in the dark. Park in the dark, that rhymes. Should be a pretty easy spot to park, but it's dark, so I'm gonna probably screw this up a lot. Jackknife it right in there. Well, not really jackknife, but kind of. Yeah. I'm glad that was an easy spot in the dark. Oh, it didn't quite level. Huh? You know what, I can't see without the UI up. I'm gonna have to turn it on at least for a second. When I need to sleep. <laughs> How much money do we have now? Uh, 19,000, we're getting there. I think I wanna have, what I say, at least like 50,000 on my own before I take out a loan for a truck. page, but then we're going to go north up into Utah. Could do that. 32 per mile. It's also 32 per mile. This is just straight up drive along I-40 for a while. Uh, we could make ourselves go through uh, Holbrook and discover that on the way to Gallup. Yeah, why not? I usually kind of avoid just going down the highway, so might as well do it now, get it over with, get the road discovered and whatnot. Frack tank. Is that what we just hauled a frack tank? Probably. Seemed to be worth a lot. Got a cable reel. To Phoenix, that's not quite worth as much though. It's 9,000... This is tempting because it's 12,000. One or the other. Up to you guys. If anybody's around. You want to go up to uh, Price, Utah, or you want to go over to Gallup? Price per mile is pretty much the same. Probably go up to Utah, it's worth more. truck is it though? Oh, Volvo VNL. That's it. I think we've driven a different truck for each run. 550 horsepower. 
18 speed transmission. Actually, yeah, I think that's pretty much selling it for me. This one's a W900. That's that's nice too. 518 speed. Okay, <laughs> they're both pretty good. We'll take the Volvo. I've decided. Do -do -do -do. Let's see, where am I on my fatigue? Oh, it's not even the bed icon isn't even lighting up yet. Okay, here we go. That's interesting. I would think I would have had to sleep by now. We're in a Volvo, we'll look at it from the outside, even though you can't really see anything in the dark. Yeah, same thing we held before, I guess the last thing was called the frack tank too. There's the old fashioned gauge there up top right. Try. I can see that a little bit better. Uh, once again, don't need to be looking at the ceiling. things in 18 speed going up two gears at a time and it's still just <laughs> okay we're going uh, is that 50 miles an hour 65 okay I want the 
this one. Okay. And actually, I'm gonna be right back real quick. Talk to you.
Test uh, Slur Clerk, okay. I'm just trying to fiddle with something with OBS on my audio mixer stuff in OBS. It's showing me a line for the new camera. And it's muted, of course, because I'm using this mic. But for some reason, I, I want to just take off that line for the audio mixer because I'm never going to use it. But even though it says monitor off, it's still there. why there's still a line for it when it says audio off, monitor off. It's annoying because it's pushing the sound alerts thing, which I kind of do want to see in case somebody ever does it. It's pushing that down off the screen. Apocalypse. Still never got to freaking show off the ending. Oh, hide. There we go. I found a way to hide it. Okay, good. Also, it looks like my mic is peeking out at red, but nobody's telling me my mic is too loud, so about it. Sorry about that. It's fiddling with stuff. Fiddle fiddle. Fiddle fiddle. Alright, back to work. Now you drop Not a really a good place to uh, pause the game, by the way, on that curve. I can't tell if I'm really in my lane too good here. Never drove the Volvo before. It's so freaking dark. school analog uh, speedometer now.
anyway. What gear I'm in, but I'm skipping through them. <laughs> Which fuel do I have? Half tank. This truck's pretty nice, I mean, I'm not too good at lining it up in the lane, but it is pretty fast. gonna wait for another cycle. I don't need gas yet. I'm not like a little, just a shade under half a tank. Come on, I'm doing like, I'm doing like 44 and a 40. Right? Yeah. I was not going that fast. See that curve. I saw the curve, but I didn't realize it was that tight of a curve. What if you went to a viewpoint in the dark? <laughs> would it still show you what it looks like at daytime? Or would it just be looking at yes, everything dark? It just went back up to 65. Oh, she's too much. Uh, and again, I didn't see how tight that was. If I was hauling something heavier, or tandems or something, I'd be in a lot more trouble with these curves.
<laughs> 40 is hard. Thirty-five now. This is a pretty tricky road to drive during the night, not gonna lie. done with the curves. It was 55. Oh, it's down to 35. Okay, okay. <laughs> Constant battle. Oh, let's get gas here. for a truck. And 38 gallons. It's nothing to laugh at. We don't have to pay for it because it's a quick job. squeeze here. And we'll just drag it through. Keep going. Okay. sleep for some reason. Maybe you just don't right. sleep with quick jobs, so I don't know. This air conditioner is 
getting a little cold on me. 71. so dark I can see the reflections of things in my room especially the lamp that's right next to me You know, the wheel cam still doesn't look too bad, even without that light on. What do you guys think? If anybody's there. That new camera is nice, that's for sure. It's pretty cheap, too, I think. It's like 35 bucks, I think. Close to 40 maybe. On Amazon. Slowing down. <laughs> oh, that's probably gonna get old. Some blue on my sleep meter, okay, so fatigue is working. Great, it's gonna make me sleep once it turns daytime probably. Doing 50 and a 45.
well, there's that hole in the rock spot. That's cool. Sun's coming up. Just starting. The sun is coming up. Let, let it be day. Nice. Lug our way through here slow. Speed limit up to 65 in the middle of a really tight turn. It's good. If anybody's left around, what's everybody up to? If anything, besides watching this. And how you doing? Everybody's there that hasn't said anything yet.
sorry, I haven't said a whole lot lately. I, haven't, I guess I just haven't had much to say. I don't have any stories that I haven't told yet. Not much has been happening for me lately. Been playing World of Warcraft a bit. Actually, not as much lately, World of Warcraft. I was playing it like last night and today a bit before I started streaming, but not that much. I guess I'm starting to get a little tired of it already, which is not good. But, you know. And I really, I do regret not playing um, Burning Crusade Classic instead of what I did, which is just plain classic. a good trucker there and I made sure nobody was coming. We'll be back on the back roads. I've been playing uh, Minecraft a bit too. I put a, a, a couple of little pictures on Discord. My newer Trancraft world. It's all the same mod pack no matter which world I'm playing on, but. Okay, that or vanilla, but lately I've been playing on that newer Trancraft world. I call it Trancraft because the, the railroad system that I'm using is Trancraft, but, I, I, but if I wanted to be really crazy and build two different rail systems, I could do Rails of War too because it's all the same mod pack. Actually, Traincraft got updated 1.7 version. There's a lot of nice new features, I guess. I haven't really tried it out much. I, I want to try it out more, like creative single player or whatever, and just you know, see what it's like. But, um, I don't like the track system. They kind of reverted with the track system. There is a bunch of um, different variations of the track and stuff, like which kind of rails you use and especially which kind of ballast you use and stuff. But um, the rails in the new train craft work just like vanilla rails now. Or they're a little, well, they were always one block wide, but. Uh, you can't have those nice big gentle turns anymore in train craft, the newest train craft. Although really when you think of it, even the gentle turns were still a 90 degree turn. You know. And now, with the new style, you can do diagonals. You know, if you just zigzag back and forth, it makes a diagonal with the track. And I guess, I think I could probably get used to it. But still, I'm not going to be able to, like, upgrade the version of Traincraft. Didn't she say get off? God damn it. Hi there, you kai fi How are you doing? Uh, no. <laughs> the biggest thing I've driven in real life is, <laughs> like, a Jeep. <laughs> Which is nothing. <laughs> nope, I've never driven a real life truck. Um... Be neat to try it someday. Uh, I guess we'll go get that question mark since I went the wrong way anyway. Okay, here we go. Make sure you put your seatbelt on now. Oh, you're a pilot. Neat. That's awesome. That's a whole different 
Apollo X. Planes, I'm kind of iffy on. I have been on planes before, but I'd much rather avoid them, no offense. I just don't like flying that much, I guess. Of course, I never really have to go anywhere anyway. Uh, last time I was on a plane, when I was pretty little. Oh, neat. That's awesome. The most I know about planes is what I learned watching um, stuff like Seconds from Disaster and May Day shows, the documentaries on different plane crashes. <laughs> so I've picked up a, a lot of the, the plane lo lingo, I guess, just from that. You know, like, like what it takes to stall and how you recover from a stall and stuff like that. Not that like I could actually do it, but I know that... If you're stalling, it's because your angle is too high, so you get get your nose down, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, not really recently. Oh, nice! <laughs> That's a lot different than a 747. <laughs> it's gotta be fun, though. So fast. Oh, man. I don't think I'd have the guts for it. Yep, low speed is bad, yep. And if you're... Go straight on. That's right. And if your speed is too low, and your altitude is too low, then you're really screwed, because you can't... Like, if you're way up high and your speed gets too low, you can just dip down and gain speed, but if you're already too low, then... You're, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Oh, come on, how fast am I really going? Like 30? Yeah, oh, doing 30 and a 25. Or. Keep left, and then turn left. And why are we doing a square? Yeah, okay. Uh, solo right now, but I'm playing this particular profile, save file, to uh, bring up a single player with no mods profile. Vanilla, that's the word I was looking for. Basically I'm getting ready to be able to play Convoy. Because usually I play with all sorts of mods. And if you want to do Convoy you can't have mods. It's like a trade-off. Hi there, scissors. Oh, no problem. It is the weekend. Today's Sunday, right? Yeah. Is this my turn? Yeah. No, I'm gonna swing out. Kind of an okay driver sometimes. Sometimes I do stupid stuff though. The song was too loud. Keep left and then turn left. I've got a wheel at least. Turn left. Tier 5 tank in World of Tanks. Oh, sweet. Oh, Concord. Neat. Well, it's too bad they phased them all out. There was only, I'm pretty sure, uh, the Concord only had one crash. Fatal crash, anyway. And it was like a really fluke thing where it like sucked up a piece of debris on the, on the, uh, airport tarmac. And it, like, the debris wrecked the engine, and then it cut a fuel line or something and made a big fire. 
But that was the only wreck of a Concord, I think. But I guess they were just too expensive to run to. Yep. I think I heard on some news article or something, I think I just read the, the headline, but I th some airline was thinking about bringing back supersonic flight? I don't know. Fuel commissions, yeah. If they bring back super sonic flights, they're going to come up with whole new jets. There's no Concords left. Unless there's a couple like in a museum or something. I guess the whole thing is they have to try to balance out if the extra speed is worth it. fuel cost and whatnot. Oh, they have a fully working one. Turn right where? Here. Okay. I've never been here before. Yeah? Back on zoomed all the way in front of me. The off road and no. Well, not really, it is dirt. I see. You have arrived to your destination. Hey, straight in, isn't that nice? Slick. I've got the parking set to random, so sometimes it's a hard spot, sometimes it's just pull straight in. <laughs> Classic dubstep song, I suppose. Yep, yeah, it's gold dusted. I think this is a reference to a character in... <laughs> not in my streams, though, which is why it kind of doesn't fit too well, but um, guy I used to watch all the time It's not around anymore streaming anyway, Mike Mnemonic. He liked wrestling stuff, so he would play the different themes. I guess I picked up on it. This one kind of just goes on too long. There. It gets old. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, we'll take our value now. I think next I'll get a pip of Fragile. And then we'll go after the rest of the hazmats. I know the different, um, a lot of the different wrestling characters and whatnot, but the last time I really watched wrestling was when I was pretty little, like, you know, Hulk Hogan era. So, people st mention a wrestler, I'm like, eh, no, nope, never heard of him. <laughs> Half the time. Goldlust I've heard of, but I don't know much about him. Yes, yes, you can help me grow, Bank. How much money do we have? 32,000. Getting there. I don't want to take out more than 100,000 in loans, so... Like, let me guess, the bank is giving me a higher limit now. Yes, I can, lo I can borrow $500,000 now. I don't want to borrow that much. I think I'm going to take out 100 loans. 
So, a couple more loads, I think. A couple more trips. Then I can take out 100 and take a truck. Oh yeah, Hulk Hogan's pretty active and stuff. I mean, he had a reality show for a long time, I think. Yeah, but you're right. Well, I don't know if you were implying it or not, but a lot of the uh, wrestlers from that area are gone. I think next time we can drive together. Yep, next time I stream. Because yep. I'm getting close to being able to buy a truck. <laughs> All right. Oh, it doesn't matter where we are because we're doing quick jobs, right? <laughs> Something other than a frack tank. We hold a frack tank two or three times. Reservoir tank, that's different. I can't do convoys until I own a truck, I'm pretty sure. Can I do convoy without owning a truck? I can join I've never I've never messed with this thing before. Oh I can host a convoy, yeah, these are other people's convoys. Pretty sure I need to own a truck though. Unless we can all just do quick jobs. And I'll just quick jobs and just start in the same place. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. A session name, Red Bear 773, sure. Um, the mixer? Um, I don't know yet. I'd have to look up how to use it. Like, I would have to pipe the audio out from my computer to the mixer. And then, um... And then the audio out from the mixer would have to go back to a line into the computer. Activating Windows costs like a hundred bucks. Last I checked. Trust me, I've tried doing it free before. Long story short, it didn't work out too well. Uh, password. Some software is how I ended up getting hacked. Hide players, no collisions with all of menus, I guess. Force speed limiter, nah. Alright. Well, if anybody wants to try this, I have no idea how this works. I've never done it before. I didn't think I could do it without owning a truck, but apparently I can. It would, it would be grayed out if I couldn't. Uh, the convoy would be called Red Bear 773, I believe. Yep. And the password is RWR. R -R -R. I am one to never update Windows until I'm forced to. I was using Windows 7 until I fixed up this computer, and with the new motherboard that I got, I had to get Windows 10. If I didn't have to get Windows 10, I would have still been running Windows 7. <laughs> but now that I got Windows 7, I'm like, you know what, Windows 10 is pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad I never tried Windows 8, though. Nothing but trouble. Okay. 
confirmed. You are now in a convoy session. Menu chat complex. Eh. In game chat Y. And quick realize it replies Q. CP radio broadcast hold X. Oh, like a push to talk. I'm gonna have to change that. Alright. Well, there you go. I made a session. Okay. I just figured I'd make it and see what would happen. The overlay menu. The complex key. What the hell is the complex key? Enter. figure out key bindings here. Complex key. I don't care. Options. Keys and buttons. Person with the least DLC has to host. Oh, so if other people don't have the DLCs, they can't join me? Oh, I guess that does make sense. Well, I've got all the states, and probably most of you guys don't. Okay, here we go. Uh, overlay active complex. How about enter? There we go. Uh, push the talk. What can I do for push to talk? The problem is, I all of these buttons on the wheel and all over here, they're all being used. <laughs> I have a third pedal, but I'm already using that for motor brake, engine brake, I should say. Uh, push to talk. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. It will do control because that's what I, you know what, that's what I do for any other time I want to push to talk. It's left control. Show name tag C, okay. Q for quick reply. Y for chat activation. Yeah, I don't like using spacebar for the Join people with less DLC, but not the other way around. Uh, Red Bear Seven Seven Three is the name of the session. Okay. Uh, without the the in the beginning, just Red Bear Seven Seven Three. Password is RWR. So, do you have all the states? Because if not, then I guess you can't join me. We'd have to have you host. Apparently. That's kind of annoying, but I guess it's understandable. you to join. Oh yeah, it says two out of eight. Faithless, that's you. All right. Oh, and you got that going. Okay. Test, test, lurk, lurk. You and take the same job, but that's grayed out, probably because I don't own a truck. So I guess we gotta try to pick the same quick job. Mm 
Oh, let me turn my music down. It's too loud. at quick jobs uh, so I'll try to stick to like the original three states Arizona California Nevada uh, uh, no not Gallup Uh, let's see, a quick job from Camp Verde to Holbrook, Arizona. Do you have that? would be what Utah and Colorado hmm. yeah maybe if I get to a state that he doesn't have it just does puts up a wall for him Are you doing quick jobs? Or do you have your own truck? Because that's going to complicate things a bit more, I would think. So you want to test a quick job uh, for me? It would be Camp Faraday to Holbrook. Let's see if you can get that. Also, is the in-game chat working? I don't know if it's actually working. I like the the bleepy noises when you hold the the twitch to talk button. That's cool. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let me pick this. See what happens. Oh. Interesting. Ready to rock and roll. Every time, every time you're looking up at the frickin' ceiling, it's so annoying. That's what I want to see. Look how much I have to change this adjustments just for that. So I have this trailer, and I'm in Camp Faraday. Uh, what is this depot called? Uh, it's one of the uh, one of the places where you get excavators and stuff from, probably bitumen or whatever it's called. So I'm guessing, just like in the multiplayer mod, the depots are non-collision, probably. Oh, of course, this is some big giant thing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can turn up your volume. I can't really hear you. Please stop to access the. Aha, uh -huh, because we're in a multiplayer, you can't access the menu until you're stopped. That makes sense. 
audio. Okay, where's the volume level for the other players? CB radio? Effects volume doesn't have to be any louder, but... Let's try that. Okay. Roger Dodger, I'll wait for you. Oh, you're fast tra- oh. Okay. So you're- You're doing like 911 and going to a certain- Can I look on the map and see where he is? So probably what Flagstaff was the closest place you could go to? So you don't teleport to me then? Oh, there you are. Coming up from Phoenix. Oh, neat. I was wondering if you could see the other people on the map, and you totally can. Let me get out of his way a little bit better. I was in a non-collision area, now I'm not, but whatever, I'm going out in mm, those grass. There we go. Let's see, turn the engine off now. I'm gonna just text, uh, test the texting system, the chat, I think. Uh, enter doesn't do anything. Uh, see? No idea. <laughs> space. Ah, space. Uh huh. Don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind me just testing the texting system. Done texting. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna use that because I'm not sure what I'm doing, especially since I know my voice works. Yeah, I think I figured it out. It's just when you're in that text button, other text box, other buttons don't work anymore. Now I heard you a bit better that time, yep. This is a pretty nice truck for being a... Oh, there he is! <laughs> so I am going to... Where am I going? Thank you. Not a problem. I'm going to Hallbrook, so... Somewhere in that direction, at least.
Well, now we know quick jobs work with this. <laughs> I didn't think they would. I think we'll probably do one load and that might be it for the stream though, because it's already, I just realized it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to do this a lot more often. I'm trying to make myself stream more. We ready to go? It is really neat to have a multiplayer system that still has actual traffic. Because the mod, the multiplayer mod was neat, but there was no AI. So if there wasn't another driver with you, then it was pretty lonely. For how much weight this is pulling, this thing's doing pretty good. Go straight on. That's right. I see why I can't use my UI mod, maybe. This is the chat stuff. Maybe someday. It's working. I think I said max players eight, which is <laughs> for some people that would be a pretty short limit, but for me, that's fine. I think it'd be unless other people just show up. Um, me, scissors, uh, sturgy sometimes. Three. Yeah, I don't think we'd ever be over eight anyway. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, scissors, that's fine. I wasn't even sure I was going to be doing this today. I wasn't planning on it, actually, because I knew I wouldn't have my own truck yet, but if you can do it in quick job, then sure. <laughs> but this is a good uh, test. We go that it works. And I think my internet is pretty decent. How's the internet looking like? Mm -hmm. um, is my truck glitching out or zipping around or anything like that. Ah, oh, he's passing. Yeah, I'm going pretty slow, so that makes sense. He looks good. 
I'm actually glad he's passing right now. Whoa. Except for that. <laughs> that was the guardrail. This road is tough. My bad. It's alright, I've done that before. The guardrail's close. Look how close that guardrail is. the Arizona highway that goes up I'm trying to think of which road this is yeah it's one of the ones that are windy it's easy to do what he just did it's very easy to hit that guardrail mm. I'm honking at you mm. <laughs> oh that's cool though playing with another person Just following the guy in front of me. <laughs> Go straight on. That's right. I remember trying. I tried multiplayer once or twice years ago, and it was weird because either there was nobody, or there were a bunch of people. First off, and then also. I would just get yelled at on the CB radio because I was doing the speed limit. And the speed limit was... I think it was California, so the speed limit was 55, and I was doing, you know, 57 or something like that. And I was getting yelled at. I was like, I'm in the right lane. Pass me. What's your problem? On a speed? Because I guess there, in the multiplayer mod, there was no... Um, there was no police, so you could go as fast as you want. Now this, with the AI, tra AI traffic and everything, I'm guessing you do get tickets for speeding. I got worried for a second. I was looking at that GPS and it almost looked like both sides of the highway were lit up red like, um, oh, went up to 75. Like it wanted me to turn around, but then I looked at the GPS on the dashboard and it was fine, so... See if we can catch up to him. I guess SCS finally noticed over the years, they're like, you know, these people keep playing with this multiplayer mod. We should do something about that. We should make something like that. 
course, for the bigger streamers that do multiplayer stuff, having a limit of eight, of eight other trucks is, is pretty low. <laughs> but it's just starting up, so I'm guessing maybe with each update, maybe they'll start improving it more and more. I think it all depend on the servers and stuff too. Now I know the whole point of this is for people to be able to convoy in a line and whatnot. But I'm wondering like if, if you had a server like the, uh, this is basically a server, right? this uh, convoy thing but what if one person's driving in say Arizona and another person's up in like state of Washington would that cause a lot of lag because everybody's not in the same place oh that bus just blinked back for a second that's the first time I saw anything like that it's <laughs> a good question yeah I caught up to him must have slowed down <laughs> Freaking AI. They see you moving over and they just bump up until the back end of your trailer hits them. I'm pretty sure I had enough room when I started shifting over. Well, it works. Marquee isn't quite going home. Of course, roadblock. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not even trying to pass him, it's just this guy is being a pain on the right here. But this guy is also being bad. Of course, and then they take off. I can't move over yet. Alright, we're gonna go that way, I see. Gear. Right as I was turning it off the blinker, it already turned off, so that it went back on. Nice. Classic. Well, now we know it works.
go to the same spot. Figured maybe he would just go to the same town, but he's going to the same spot too. I added a couple of uh, VTuber songs to the list, by the way, but I don't think any of them ever popped up. <laughs> Even though it's a non-collision zone, I'm going to do this anyway. Oh, I hate parking in this spot. There's just no room. Hi, right, buddy. There's no room to straighten this thing out in time. I'm as left as I can get to try to get that swing out. Uh, well, it's too bad it's a non-collision zone. <laughs> Otherwise I could tell him to try to bump it over. <laughs> I tried swinging out wide too. Oh, you can't hear me in game. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you're listening to the stream, I guess. See, I was thinking I had to hit the button. Oh! Yeah, that's a good point. It could be on my end. Hold on. I don't, I'm not in a big rush to deliver this anyway. Let me see. Um. It could be trying to use a t wrong mic. That's right. Really audio driver. That's for audio, that's not for the mic. Right? Yeah, okay. There. How do I... How do I pick what mic it uses? Because technically I have two webcams plugged in, so it could be trying to use one of those mics. I think it probably just uses system default, which should be this. Okay. Um, actually, I can't take another load because it's 7.30. I gotta stop streaming. But hey, it works. This was a good way to test it. Let's see if I can park this thing. I don't think I really can because it's articulated all the hell. And if you don't get it on the first shot, you're screwed. Yeah, I'm out of room. And there's that stupid third dolly. Can't I take off the third dolly at least? <laughs> oh yeah, this is not going to work. I hate this spot. There's just no way to park straight in here. Like I tried, you saw how much I swung out. And I still am nowhere near, near the right spot there. I have no idea how to back this up to actually, yeah, it's, it's going the wrong way. 
and I can't spin around. There's not enough room. There's a trailer sitting there. Pain, pain, pain and agony. This parking spot. I chose this trailer. I chose it. Although I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. Well, these are usually okay, and especially if it's articulated like this, it gives you a really easy spot to park in, usually. But this depot, specifically, is horrible. And the way the articulation works with this, with the hinges, doesn't matter which way you back up. Look at that third section that's just gonna go wherever the hell it wants. There's no way to control that. Uh, I might have to detach and just go to the X and tell it to I'm in a hurry option. I don't know if I can do that though. That's the thing. I don't see the X on the ground for it. Yeah, this is getting worse and worse. I cannot swing this thing around here. Let me see. I'm telling me dinner is ready for him. Can I be cheap? I don't think I can because this is a non-collision zone, right? Can't ram my own trailer over. Oh, I can. There's collision with that. <laughs> okay, that's an option if I can't find the X to turn it in. Just want to put it in forward. Uh, uh, uh. There's nothing there. Crap. How do I? I'm so used to always parking. There's no dialogue. What? Okay, I'll stop. There's an option for this. Gameplay. I'm back. Uh, test, test, lurk, lurk. Do you hear me? That's weird. I'm trying to, um, you know, do the thing where you just hit enter to park it for you. And can take you. One more time, I didn't hear that. I was talking. Can take you. Yeah, I think you said testing, testing. You're a little muffly, but I can kind of hear you. I don't know why I'm hitting the button if that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not trying to take jobs, I'm just trying to park this. There we go. <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was trying to park it because I couldn't get it straightened out in that spot. I was trying to get the dialogue to hit enter. I got it. But anyway, I cannot start another job right now, unfortunately, because I just got message that it's dinner time, so I have to stop streaming now. But that was a really good test. Thank you very much for that. And now we know it works even with quick jobs and maybe probably before the next time I stream this I'll play a little bit on my own and get my own truck I think I think that would be better than doing quick jobs because then if we're all doing quick jobs we're trying to match up stuff oh thanks for the follow yeah that was fun 
thank you for the testing and everything, and now we know it works. The only thing that doesn't seem to work is the CB radio, and I'm not really sure whose end the problem was, but maybe next time we'll have a couple other people, and then if one person can hear me and the other person can't, then I know it's not on my end, or vice versa. Anywho, um, let me just check to see if there's anybody to raid. She just asked me what do you want to eat. I just said soon. Um, no, actually, there's nobody to raid. Alright, so I'll see you guys around later. Bye. Uh...